Ezra, Revi'i, for Ezra, 9. He answered me then and said, Measure you the time diligently in itself, and when you see part of the signs pass, which I have told you before, then shall you understand that it is the very same time wherein El Elyon will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall you well understand that El Elyon spoke of those things from the days that were before you, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of El Elyon have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by belief, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my Yeshua in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my Torah while they had yet liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, and therefore be not curious how the wicked shall be punished, and when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish, and of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me, saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husbandman is himself, so is his husbandry also. For it was the time of the world. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live. No man spoke against me, for then everyone obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a Torah, which is unsearchable, rid themselves. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. and Let my grape be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. Nevertheless, if you will cease yet seven days more, but you shall not fast in them, but go into a field of flowers where no house is built, and eat only the flowers of the field, taste no flesh, drink no wine, but eat flowers only, and pray unto El Elyan continually, then will I come and talk with you. So I went my way into the field which is called Ardath, like as he commanded me. And there I sat among the flowers, 
and did eat of the herbs of the field, and the meat of the same satisfied me. After seven days I sat upon the grass, and my heart was vexed within me like as before. And I opened my mouth and began to talk before El Elyon and said, O Yahweh, you that show yourself unto us, you were showed unto our fathers in the wilderness, in a place where no man treads, in a barren place, when they came out of Mitzrayim. And you spoke, saying, Hear me, O Yashadael, and mark my words, you seed of Yaakov. For behold, I sow my Torah in you, and it shall bring fruit in you, and ye shall be honored in it forever. But our fathers which received the Torah kept it not, and observed not your ordinances. And though the fruit of your Torah did not perish, neither could it, for it was yours. Yet they that received it perished, because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. And lo, it is a custom when the ground has received seed, or the sea a ship, or a vessel meat or drink, that that being perished within it was sown or cast into, that thing also which was sown or cast therein or received perishes and remains not with us, but with us it has not happened so. For we that have received the Torah perish by sin, and our heart also which received it. Notwithstanding, the Torah perishes not, but remains in his force. And, when I spoke these things in my heart, I looked back with my eyes, and upon the right side I saw a woman. And behold, she mourned and wept with a loud voice, and was much grieved in her, res, rather, and was much grieved in heart, and her clothes were rent, and she had ashes upon her head. Then let I my thoughts go that was in, and turned me unto her, and said unto her, Wherefore do ye weep? Why are you so grieved in your mind? And she said unto me, Sir, let me alone, that I may bewail myself, and add unto my sorrow, for I am sore vexed in my mind, and brought very low. And I said unto her, What ails you? Tell me. She said unto me, I, your servant, have been barren, and had no children, though I had a man thirty years. In those thirty years I did nothing else day and night, and every hour but make my prayer to El Elyon. After thirty years Elohim heard me, your handmaid, looked upon my misery, considered my trouble, and gave me a son. And I was very glad of him, so was my man also, and all my neighbors, and we gave great honor unto El Shaddai, and I nourished him with great travail. So when he grew up and came to the time that he should have a woman, I made a feast. <laughs>